Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is that if you have the square root of a fraction, let's say a over b, then it's equal to the square root of the a over the square root of b. So for instance if we had say to square root 36 over 4 according to what we have up here that this would be the same as the square root of 36 over the square root of 4. And the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 4 is 2 and so 6 divided by 2 is 3. In fact we could have got 3 quite simply by dividing 4 into 36 which goes 9 and the square root of 9 is simply 3. So what this demonstrates is that this formula here works. So let's see though how we can use this to simplify other fractions that we square root. Let's say for instance the square root of 8 ninths. Well square rooting 8 ninths then according to this would be exactly the same as square rooting 8 over the square root of 9. Now the square root of 9 is an obvious value, it's 3. But when it comes to square rooting the 8, well that hasn't got a nice answer like the square root of 9. But what we can use is the multiplication rule here. Do you remember I did that in an earlier tutorial? Square root of 8 can be thought of as the square root of 4 times 2. And I pick 4 because that is easily able to be square rooted. Because by the multiplication rule this is exactly the same as doing the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 over the 3 that we have here. And the square root of 4 is 2 and so that's going to leave us with 2 times root 2 or 2 root 2 for short over 3. So the square root of then of 8 ninths is exactly the same as 2 root 2 over 3. You could even try this on a calculator, work that out as a decimal and check that you get the same value with this one. Some calculators will even square root a fraction like this and represent it in this particular format. OK, let's try one more example. This one will demonstrate something else. OK, let's just try it. The square root of, say, 16 over 5. 16 fifths. Well, according to the rule again, this is exactly the same as square rooting the top value, 16, and divided by the square root of the bottom value, 5. So we have root 16 over root 5. Now root 16 is a familiar one, that's 4, but the square root of 5 is just left as the square root of 5. There is no square number that's a factor of 5, so I can't break it up like I did the root 8 over here. So I would leave this as 4 over root 5. Now when you have a third in the denominator like the root 5 here, there is a way that we can simplify this further and it's called rationalizing the denominator and this is a topic that I cover in a later tutorial.